Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Florian Schiffer and I've shown you in the last video how you can use the simple Panda Power plot functions to visualize your grid and get a first impression. In this video, we're going to look at the collections function, which I used to highlight certain aspects of your grid. To get started, we look at the MV Oberyn example again, which is shown here. And what we want to do is we want to visualize each line, which is longer than two kilometers. Okay, to get started, we have to import the Panda Power networks. We have to import the Panda Power plotting functions. And we have, or we should import the matplotlib pyplot functions to show the plots at the end. And just a recommendation, you can also import Seaborn, Seaborn and get the colors from that because they look just very nice. Now we load our grid like last time and to visualize now the lines and the buses, we have to create so-called collections, which are uh, practically something like the instructions for the plotter, what it should do. So we have to give the collections, the bus indices in the grid. We can specify a color for the buses. Let's use here the first one in the color palette give them the size of the buses and the order and we do the same for the lines so we create a line collection for all of the lines in the grid which is done like this we specify a color let's use here gray and we want to plot them below the buses so we use another order now this is practically it. You just have to call now the collections, the draw collections function and give it a list of all the buses. And then you do plot.show. And what should be showing now is another window where you can see uh, the plot like this. So what you see is a plot which looks like the simple plot with all the lines in gray and the buses in blue. To get this plot here where the lines are highlighted in green for, or the long lines are highlighted in green, we have to give or we have to create uh, more collections with the long, the long lines. So first we have to give uh, to get from all the lines in the grid the location of the lines which have a length greater than let's say two kilometers. Let's get the indices of those lines and we just create another collection for those lines. So we just do it like this. We get, give them another color. Let's use here the first or the second color in the in the color palette and we want to have them in the same order. And now we do it again. We use the plot the draw collection function, give them the old collections and as well the new one, the one with the long lines. We use plot.show and now we should see that the plot from last time has certain lines highlighted in green. So the, the lines which are highlighted are longer than two kilometers in that sense. So this is great if you, for example, want to visualize certain lines, certain aspects of the grid, but you can also highlight power flow results. So if we look at the example here on the website and you scroll down a little bit, or up you see here the buses which have a certain voltage or uh, you can also get the categories or the feeders highlighted as well. So the matplotlib collections are very practical and can be used to visualize any, any aspect of your grid. You just have to create them, put them in a list and call the function. If you want to get more information uh, about the collection and so on, there are great tutorials on our website pandapower.org under getting started and scrolling down you can find all of the jupyter notebooks to learn how to use it i think that's it for today thank you very much and have a great day